Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to try and graph the tangent of theta. Now remember the tangent of theta is defined by the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta. So what we need to do is account for the various angles from 0 to 360 degrees or from 0 to 2 pi, get both the cosine of theta values and the sine of theta values because then what we do to get the tangent of theta is divide the sine by the cosine. So 0 divided by 1 is 0 and 1 half divided by the square root of 3 over 2 is 1 over the square root of 3. Uh, the square root of 2 over 2 divided by the square root of 2 over 2 is 1, and the square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half is the square root of 3, and then 1 divided by 0 is undefined or infinity, and so forth. So we go ahead and divide all of these sine values by all these cosine values, and we get this. Notice there are a couple of places where the result is infinite or undefined. So for 90 degrees and for 270 degrees, the function is undefined. So let's find that at 90 degrees, which is pi over 2, the function is undefined. So we draw a uh, asymptote like this. And at 270 degrees, or 3 pi over 2, we have another asymptote. Right oh. through here. All right. Now, to get some of the other values, we have 0 at 0. We have 0 at 180 degrees. And we have 0 again at 2 pi. So there the value is 0. Notice we get a positive 1 at 45 degrees. So at 45 degrees, it's positive 1. At um, 135 degrees, it's negative 1, which is right over here. At uh, 225 degrees, it's positive 1. So 225 degrees, we're back at positive 1. Oh, where are we? Where are we? Uh, 225 degrees. Oop, I'm off just a little bit right here. I want to be negative 1 here and positive one there. All right, I was off a little bit on my plus ones, and then finally we have a negative one back over here. All right, so we found all the zero values and all the positive and negative one values. Now to see what happens for the rest. So at 30 degrees, which is about right here, it's 0.577, so that would be about there. And then at uh, 60 degrees, which is right over here, it's 1.732, so it's like that. So what we can see is that we have an asymptotic curve that goes to zero here, and then we'll find out what happens after that. Past 90 degrees, we're at negative values. So that means that we're negative one here, negative 1.7 over here, and negative 0.5 over there. So that way, that way we have a curve that looks like this, okay? Then past pi, past 180 degrees, we're back on the positive side. So positive 0.5, 1, 1 1.7 over here. So it would be 0 0.5, 0 0.1, or 1, and then 1 1.7 over here. So you can see that the curve continues on like this. And again becomes asymptotic over here. And then past 3 pi over 2, past 270 degrees, we're back on negative values. Right here at negative, square root of 3, that's negative 1.7 negative 1, negative 5.7, so that looks like we're back over here somewhere. So right here, right there, so you can see that the value goes up like this. All right, so that's a good representation for the tangent of theta between 0 and 2 pi. What we can assume then is that this will continue over here, just like it repeats, and so we can assume that the curve will continue over here, and that we'll have another asymptote at minus pi over 2. And let's check that just for a moment. So let's say we have a minus pi over 2, which is equal to minus 90 degrees. Let's draw a little unit circle right here. At minus 90 degrees, which is down here, you can see that the cosine is 0, and the sine is negative 1. And so negative 1 divided by 0 gives me negative infinity, which is way down here again. So yes, indeed, we expect this to go back down to negative infinity like that. So that's what the tangent function looks like when we graph it. Now, because of these asymptotes, what they like to do is they like to limit the tangent function between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. So usually they limit the tangent function between these two values so they don't have to deal with the asymptote. And they then realize that the values will fall between positive infinity at pi over 2 to minus infinity at minus pi over 2, even though they know the function repeats. At ever 180 degrees like that, they just like to limit it to that so they don't have to deal with the asymptotes. So usually when they graph y equals the tangent of theta, they will limit it from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. 
All right, that gives us a good feel of how to graph the tangent of theta.